Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my channel. My name is Karasi Mario and today we are doing another episode on Scratch. Um, because last time you guys loved it. Um, it's got over 200 views now. Um, which may not sound a lot for all you guys who watch people like Markiplier who churn out millions. But for me, that's amazing. 200 guys. So that's why I'm doing another one of these. You guys obviously seem to want them. So today we are going to be talking about velocity. Um, velocity here, we've made a little variable for it and I've got my two sprites here. This one is our character and this one's just a platform. Um, so yeah, we're going to get straight into this. If you do not know what velocity is, velocity is the speed increase or decrease depending on like where something's going. So if this guy starts down here then when he jumps he's going to start going fast and then as he gets higher he's going to slow down and then he's going to fall slowly and then get faster and faster as he descends and that's what velocity basically is um, so we're going to start off with a forever loop and put an if inside it now our velocity thing here we're going to need that um, and if velocity is not zero so basically Velocity will be zero when he's here, because he won't be moving, he won't have any velocity. So if he isn't touching the ground, that's basically what it's saying. Um, you want to repeat until it is touching the ground, or repeat until velocity is zero, um, and change velocity by minus 0 0.5. Um, now, you can increase that if you want, um, but as long as you don't have it um, anything lower than 0 0.5, then you're fine. Um, you want an if uh, in here, if touching. Now this touching I'm going to be putting sprite to, but it's just whatever your platform is. It could be your stage, your backdrop, and if it is, um, just whatever color or anything it is. I advise making a separate sprite and then you could ghost that and build platforms around it but that's just my opinion. So if touching the ground um, we want to make a block and let's call this one clip um, and run without screen refresh so make sure you type in, it doesn't really matter what you type in here, you could type in bob for all I care but the most important thing, you go into options and tick this. If you do not tick this, it will look very bad and um, mediocre. So when we have this inside the clip, we want a repeat until, and we want it so it repeats until it's not touching the ground. Um, change y here we go by 1 so basically what this is doing is it's changing so it's if it's up then it changes its velocity and it slowly decreases or increases its speed going downwards and then when it's touching the ground it does this instantly it keeps going up and up until it like it is like above so what this is doing is when it so what this is it so what this part is doing here is if it's in the air it repeats until it's touching the ground and it decreases the velocity which means that the speed increases as it goes downwards and then if it is touching the ground it does this instantly and it just brings it up to the top so it changes the y by one until it's not touching that but we do still want it touching it a little bit otherwise it will keep bobbing up and down and up and down so we want to change the y by minus one so it goes up and then it just goes down a tiny bit so it's still touching the ground but it's barely touching it and then you want to set the velocity to zero because you're touching the ground. Um, next, you want another if in here. 
Um, so if it is not, here we go, if it's not touching the ground, you want to set the velocity to minus 0 0.25. Um, and so what that's doing is it's setting it to minus 0 0.25, meaning, yeah, that it's a tiny bit like less. Because if it's a tiny bit less, then that means when it goes to 0, because this is decreasing by minus 0 0.5, when it goes to zero, it doesn't want to stop at zero because then it will stop doing this because it's reached zero. It will keep going past zero because it will never actually reach zero due to this. Um, now you can just put in something like if a certain key is pressed, so we'll just use space as our jump key. So this is your jump key. Set velocity to 10.25. You can change that number in front, make sure it's a 25 though otherwise it will not work. Um, and then the final thing to do is just add in a forever. This is the most important part otherwise it does nothing. Um, forever change y by velocity. So it's always changing its y by the velocity. And what this is doing here is if space is pressed it sets that to 10.25 and then it realizes oh the velocity isn't zero so I better change the velocity by minus 0 0.5 as it goes up but obviously it's changing the y by velocity so if we just have a look at this there you go a smooth jump change this um, one thing you can do is make another variable and call it gravity um, now the gravity, you can just set gravity to whatever you want at the start, and I'll set it to 10. Now with gravity, you can change some stuff around here. So we can go set velocity to gravity times 1.025, um, which, you know, that's, that's going to do its thing, and then here you can have gravity divided by 40 um, and then up here you can have gravity divided by 20 um, and then take so zero take away gravity minus gravity divided by 20 so that's what we we'll have there is that and then we can change our gravity so we'll put it at 5 no no <laughs> when it starts it'll set to 5 sorry and then it will jump smaller like that or we could set it to 15 and then it will jump a lot higher um, so this is a fairly advanced tutorial on velocity and stuff like that yeah, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I put a bit of time into this, so I hope you appreciate it and you can take some stuff from this that you can use in your own games or just some simple animations but with complex physics and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody very much for watching this episode. Um, if you like it, then please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already to see more awesome videos like this. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye.